Hello and welcome to another Daily Dose of English. Today's video is to answer a question from Gustavo in Venezuela. Hi, Gustavo. And from Martine in France. Hi, Martine. They both want to know what we call those little symbols on computer keyboards. The at and the hash and the forward slash. You may want to know them too, so I'm going to pop myself up there so that I can more easily explain to you which symbol is which, and more importantly, how to pronounce them. Yes, that's better. This is a keyboard. The keyboard has symbols all over the place. Sometimes they can be difficult to find. If you need a symbol and can't find the key, press the ALT button, hold it down, and then type in the code number on the numeric keypad. You'll find the code number under the name of each of the symbols in this lesson. The first symbol is the tilde, tilde. The acute, the exclamation mark or exclamation point. The inverted exclamation mark. This is found on Spanish keyboards. The code is ALT173. This is the AT, which is found in all email addresses. And the number or hash symbol. The dollar sign. The percent. The carat. The ampersand. The asterisk. The open or left parenthesis or brackets. Close or right parenthesis or brackets. The underscore or horizontal bar. The plus sign. The dash or hyphen. The equals sign. The open or left curly brace. The close or right curly brace. The OR or vertical bar. The open or left square bracket. The close or right square bracket. The forward slash, also the solidus. The backslash, also the reverse solidus. The colon. The semicolon. The quote or double quote. The apostrophe or single quote. Less than. More than. Question mark. Inverted question mark. Again, on a Spanish keyboard. Alt-168. The comma. The dot, period or full stop. And that's the last of the symbols. So there you have it. I hope that's explained all those pesky little symbols and you'll have no trouble talking about them in the future. Thanks for watching this Daily Dose of English and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.